Hello and welcome to Kino de Toten. And yes, your ears do not deceive you. This is a live commentated video. I know. Huzzah. Hello. It is returning for one video and one video only. <laughs> do, do not get used to this. This is a very much just like a little treat, you know, a little reward. You've been good to me, so I'm going to be good to you. And I'm just going to give you a little reward, you know. <laughs> it is what it is. But hello and welcome. And today we're doing a very special challenge. A challenge that I have never done. And Jesus Christ, why was the three of you in that window? <laughs> oh my God, that was almost death. But we're doing a challenge that I have never done before in Zombies. And that challenge is the 115 challenge now this was i believe created by the smith plays many uh, many many years ago and if you don't know who the smith plays is uh, you should change that like immediately now this challenge makes you follow uh, three very specific rules basically uh, all following along the lines of the 115 you're allowed to buy one gun from the box there are no war weapons allowed you're then allowed to pack a punch a gun once, so no AATs if you're playing in a game like Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 4 or Cold War or whatever else. And then you're allowed five packs. Now, there might be a few of you uh, geniuses out there who are going to go, well, well, Satch, you're playing on Kino de Toten. You can't get five packs. Well, that's where you're wrong, because I am using Unquenchable, as you can see. So I'm going to be able to buy my third perk my fourth fifth perk just <laughs> yeah, sorry now i'm not gonna lie this is also the second attempt of me recording this video i did a full full video went to edit it, and then realized all my audio was messed up which is phenomenal and why you should never change things when you start getting confident and comfortable with whatever you're doing <laughs> uh, that is the real pain of this video right here and the other thing i learned in the in the last playthrough is the wonder fizz only gives you three perks in this map which i had no idea about but to keep things in vain of the last attempt i'm going to be doing the same thing i did last time which was now this is this is going to be important i'm going to be getting three perks in the wonder fizz being stamina up deadshot and widows and i am then going to buy double tap and the real shocker speed caller <laughs> and you're going to see exactly why well i mean to be fair in the last attempt i also got the vmp as well which meant i could buy ammo from the wall uh, I don't know if that was like allowed or not, but like I had the uh, option too, so I kind of, I kind of rolled with it, and it worked pretty well. So hopefully this time I can get just as lucky and get something uh, like that again. Maybe a VMP, maybe a hit, maybe a ICR, maybe I, I don't know where the guns are on the wall in this map because I forget. If I get a Shiva, I'm gonna be quite annoyed. I'm not gonna lie. But we're gonna get to one zombie left, just like a so in a minute. You're gonna die. I'm gonna shoot you a few more times actually. Never mind. You get to live. <laughs> I don't want to risk that. Right. No, no box. This is where the box was for me last time. Please, why aren't you there? Oh, pain. All right. We're going to hope and pray that it's in here. Because if it's not, oh, I don't have enough points. God damn it. What are zombie? There are zombie. Zombie give point. I go hit box. All right. Give me this. All right. Please, 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 please. Uh, That's a brekkie. I, oh. That's good, but not great. How am I going to get ammo? Oh, I'm screwed. I am so screwed. Well, uh, this run is definitely not going to last as uh, long as the last one did, but we're going to try and make it work. We have we have a brekkie. We have the broccoli gun. Okay. Okay. We, this is not great, <laughs> but I'm going to try and make it work. So in the last attempt of this, uh, I got to around 22 with the VMP. I'm now going to have to, I can probably definitely get to a higher round with this gun, but my main issue now is going to be ammunition. I'm going to have, I like, I had a way to buy ammo in the last game. Uh, I don't have a way to do that this time around, which is kind of terrifying, but it is what it is. Although the brekkie actually also feels incredibly good as well. Like it's been such a long time since I've used this because I feel like out of all the shotguns in this game, for zombies, at least, the Brecky is just kind of like the one that just kind of gets forgotten about. Like everyone's always going up. Like everyone kind of always gravitates straight towards the Haymaker and the KRM. Whereas I feel like this thing, this and the Argus, the Argus, just kind of get forgotten and left behind. You know, and honestly, rightfully so, because the the other two guns I mentioned are superior in every single way. Like one's fully automatic and incredibly powerful. One is semi-automatic but can be fired ridiculously fast and is stupidly powerful. This is. You know, kind of somewhere in the middle of that, like it's semi-automatic, has a decent power to it and range, but like, I feel like it kind of lacks quite heavy once you start getting into like the higher rounds. But it is what it is. All right, we're going to firstly, we're going to link this all together, just like so. I should probably also start trying to spin for my unquenchable, because I'm going to need that in a bit. 
That is not what I want. That's a sword flay. One of the most useless gobble gums in the world. But I just kind of put it on because I didn't want to have the temptation of spinning all the best gobble gums in the game. <laughs> okay, so what's the range? Like, the range isn't awful in this. Like, I can two tap a zombie from that far away with no double tap, no pack a punch. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, maybe it's worse than I thought. <laughs> Never mind. Um, I take that back. Oh my god, my accuracy. I need to not be missing my shots because I don't have the ammo for this. Luckily, there are dog rounds, but like, what, every four to seven rounds, we could get a dogs, which is fine. But like, if, I, if I'm at like round 20 and I've got to then wait six rounds to get a dogs, I, I, odds are I am dying very, very quickly because I'm going to run out of ammo so quickly with this thing. I don't want to grab that max ammo just yet. I want to spin the round. There we go. Okay, uh, first things first, we're going to go and get two of our perks from Zivundafiz, which I had no idea on this map only spits out three perks, being Widows, Stamina Up, and Deadshot. Even though you can see, like, all the different perks in here, it only gives you three of them, which I never knew, which is kind of cool, but also kind of not cool because I was expecting more. Okay, where is the Gobblegum Machine as well? I might as well get this spawn, see if I can get myself an Unquenchable, just like so, which is perfect. You can buy our extra perk when we're maxed out. That didn't make me jump. Definitely not. I need to, like, really just start hitting these headshots because if I'm not and I'm wasting bullets, we're big screwed. Like, I don't have the luxury of a wall buy. I don't have the luxury of cashback. I just have to make sure everything dies with, a <laughs> with as little ammunition used as possible because things could go horrifically wrong for me so quickly. Like, if I die in, like, round 12, eh, I'm not going to be happy. But hopefully, I can get some luck and I can get some max ammo is going, and we can be fine. I also think as well, when I pack up on this thing, I do get, like, quite a nice uh, boost in ammo for this. Like, I think you overall, you got, like, 120 rounds originally. I think that goes up to, like, 200 plus when pack a punch, which is nice, but, you know, yet again, <laughs> it's not like all the ammo in the world. All right, we're gonna quickly take out you. I'm gonna grab... No! Oh, I didn't mean to spend that. Oh, I just wasted so many points. God, I'm dumb. <laughs> oh, no, it's so many points I just lost. Ugh. Oh, well, it is what it is. I actually think first, before I do anything, I am going to try and get all five of my perks. I've got three of them so far, which is nice. I think I'm going to try and get double tap next just because uh, it's double tap and it's probably the best perk in this game. I'm not going to lie. I think it's incredible. I mean, that and like Widows are probably the best two perks in this game. Because yes, I am going to attempt this once again without quick revive and jug because content, baby. Oh, I just lost, like, four bullets. God damn it. <laughs> Which usually I wouldn't be that mad about, but when I've not got a war by and I've only got one gun to use, I, it's a little not great. I think what I do is we is we, we hang about on the stage for a bit. We try and grind together maybe three, 4,000 points. Then we go into the alleyway. We buy a double tap. We hang about there for a bit. We grind together more points. We go and buy... We go and miss two shots. Two very easy shots is what we do. We then go and buy Speed Cola. We then grind together more points, and we get uh, the the last thing I need, which is Pack a Punch. Although that insta kill could be very nice. Okay, that wasn't like the best insta kill in the world. I don't think I got that many points out of that, which is a little a little sad, but it is what it is. We make it work. Okay, I don't know how many points I actually need to get into the alleyway and then to buy Double Tap. I think I need four thousand points. Roughly. I don't think I need 4,000 points exactly, actually. I think it's 750 for the first door, then 1250 for the next. And then obviously double taps 2,000 points. So I do need quite a couple extra points in my pocket. Hopefully we can make this work. Do you know what? I We're going to try and make this work. Maybe maybe I'm misremembering and that second door is only 1,000, but I don't remember, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, it is only 1,000. I can buy double tap. There we go. That's huge. Okay, so now we just need to get 3,000 more points. Let me buy Speed Cola and then we pray. <laughs> Oh, no, you take... I just shot that guy in the face point blank with a shotgun with double tap when he didn't die. That is not a good sign to see. <laughs> the Brecky cannot be failing me at this low of a round with double tap at this point. Like, it just can't. I have so many more rounds to try and go. Like, I want to at minimum get to round 20. And no, I at minimum want to equal round 22, which is what I got with the VMP. All right, there we go. Almost 3,000 points, which is huge. Ooh, double points. I will actually... Say, actually, ooh, do you know what? I'm going to save that for the next round. Because if I can get Speed Cola and then double, uh, not double tap, Speed Cola and Pack a Punch in the same round, that would be quite nice for us. I've also just realized I had only have 62 bullets in my gun. 
I'm in dire need of a max ammo. Or else things might be getting a little rough for us pretty damn quickly. Why did I have to get the one gun that just has like no ammo in it? Huh? I would have taken like literally any other gun that just has like an abundance of ammo. Like any of them. Specifically one that was like sitting on the wall, you know? Like an ICR or a, <laughs> a VMP again. The Vespa. Actually, no, I wouldn't have taken the Vespa. The Vespa sucks. Oh, no, the door points. That's actually kind of nice. I would very much prefer a max ammo, though, I'm not going to lie, because I only have 30 bullets. I would very much like if this was a dog round. <laughs> it's not a dog round. God damn it. I probably should have gone and got pack a, uh, pack a punch, but I didn't because I saw the double points. And I was like, you know what? I can get more points now, which was a mistake now that I'm realizing it. Okay, uh, we have 16 rounds. Oh, that didn't kill him. What the hell? Oh, my God. I don't have quick revive. Let's not die. That seems like a really good idea of not doing. I have no ammo. Uh, this is bad. This is really bad. We're gonna go pack a punch. <laughs> so we can get some more bullets. And that right there is how uh, you don't play zombies when you've only got one life. <laughs> Alright, there we go. The brekkie is in. How many bullets do I get now? Oh, that is not as many bullets as I thought. That is not good. Oh, I am so screwed. I get 144 overall. Yeah. That's not great. <laughs> Okay, what we're going to do now, though, before anything, is I'm going to go buy Speed Cola for the content, because why not? <laughs> Just, you know, m drilling in the fact that I really do love torturing myself when it comes to playing zombies. You you, gotta, you can't just, like, make one challenge normal. You gotta, like, just really ram it home, you know? And then, do you know what I'm gonna do? Because I found I, it worked for me in the last game, so I'm gonna do it again, is we're gonna go and stand in the alleyway next to the VMP wall by, which... It's probably a bit riskier now that I've not got the range as I did last game, but we're going to try it again because it worked for me. So we're going to come back here and we're just going to sit here and just shoot things <laughs> in the head and hope they die very quickly and very easily. Although, to be fair, this gun is actually incredibly powerful. It just needs more ammo. <laughs> but now that we are all set up and, are, and we're, we're raring to go for what is a miserable failure, there are a few things I want to talk about content-wise. That we've been doing. I don't know why I said wise and such a. I put so much emphasis on wise. It just. <laughs> it's one of those things, you know? But obviously, like, content on the channel has been very different over the last, like, couple of months. Uh, obviously, changed the whole style of the way we do things, doing the uh, post commentary, like, director style content, which I know makes the videos a lot shorter, and I know people do miss the long form style of content, which is, you know, here you go. <laughs> I, I say this is probably only going to be like a 20 minute video by the end of editing, but it, it, it is what it is. Like I was saying, a lot of people miss those long form videos. And I do want to try and do more longer videos in the post commentary style. That max ammo drop is so bad for me. Why did I just get two of them near back to back? Oh, that's not good. Um, But I do want to try and do more long form like videos in the post commentary style, the director style, if you will. And I have a lot of ideas for what videos I want to do in those styles. Um, one of them possibly being on Vanguard Zombies, I know. Call of Duty Vanguard in the year 2023. Could you imagine that? Because I certainly uh, can. <laughs> um, but, like, that would be a part of, like, a video series, I'm not going to lie. Because I have... The same idea that I want to do on Vanguard, I also want to do on Cold War. And I'll be doing it twice on Cold War. And uh, they're, they're, you'll, you'll definitely know what the video is that I'm, like, alluding to. I'm not going to spoil it because I don't think it's, like, a video anyone's done before when it comes to zombies. Like, I do, I, tr I truly think it will be, like, a one of a kind when I upload it or when I make it. Because it's going to take me a while to make. Like, it's not going to be like a, oh, I can, I can bang it out over the weekend and it'll be uploaded in a couple days. Like, it's going to take me months of recording and agony. <laughs> um... But it will definitely be worth the wait, I think. For me and for you, when it's like a finished product. But like, there's, there's definitely a few of those videos doing, like I said, there will be one on Vanguard, which I know is a bit insane to think about, but like, it's gonna be there. Which is really cool. And then I have like, I wanna try and do like, one longer video. I mean, I say longer video, there'll only be like 20 minutes, 30 minute videos in that style. But I wanna try and do like one a month. Like I have an idea for what I wanna do this month, although I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it out in time, which would be a tier list. I wanna try and do a tier list of all the zombie maps because I haven't done one before. And I have some very controversial opinions about maps that I think would be funny because uh, a lot of people get very mad at me, which is always, uh, which I always find hilarious when it comes to zombies. It gives me, it gives my brain a right old tickle. You know, <laughs> I also want to try and do some like retrospective like series as well, where I kind of like delve into the games and 
talk about them in a bit more depth and then give you my two cents on them all and more opinions about stuff of why I think this happened and why games were in these directions and how I thought about them and why I thought things were good and why I thought things were bad because they're always like really fun to watch. I always love seeing other people's opinions of games and how they break it down. And I've always wanted to do it myself. I mean, I did one of Cold War like ages ago, but I might revisit it and revamp it and do a few others. Like I have an idea for a Vanguard retrospective as well I want to do. I know, like, a lot of Vanguard talk, which is really odd, considering, like, how much we all hated that game, but, like, you know. I feel like, I feel like there's, there's an untapped market there that no one's ever really, like, looked into. Like, the game sucks, don't get me wrong, but, like, you know, there's content there to be had. <laughs> I'm running low on ammo, which isn't great. I need to max ammo desperately. And I know it sounds like I'm rambling, because, quite frankly, I am. <laughs> like, I haven't done this in so long that, like, I missed my script. I miss just being able to like look up and know the words I'm supposed to say. It's very odd for me right now. I'm trying my best though. And obviously as well next month I am going to uh, attempt to get back into streaming. I know like three or four times a week maybe. I know a lot of people miss that. I kind of miss it which I never thought I would because I wasn't like the biggest fan of streaming but I kind of do want to get back into it and just try my hand at it once again but yeah like don't get me like there, there will be longer form videos in the director style but like it's not going to be like every video it'll be like once a month i'll try and get like a nice longer one out for you to enjoy because like i said i know a lot of people do miss this style of video particularly but also just having like the longer videos to watch but i am trying don't don't get twisted <laughs> but one thing i think we do need to get twisted is my lack of ammo that made no sense but do you know what it worked for me. So I'm going to make it work. That zombie scared the crap out of me. I did not think they were that close to me. Oh my god, that made me jump. I need bullets. I need bullets now. I have eight. I have 15 rounds. Um, I'm going to move out of this area. We're going to go to the stage. Just because I feel safer there. I have no bullets. No. What's the shotgun wall by? The shotgun wall by... Oh my god, that is perfect. Oh my god, that is perfect. I just saved by the dog. <laughs> saved by the hellhound. I am gonna lose a few bullets though when we get the max ammo, which I honestly is a bit annoying, but it's fine. Oh, well, I'm actually gonna lose more than a fort. Jesus. Okay, we lost what 13 rounds. That's not great. Oh, I think we lost 15 rounds. Never mind. Okay, that's a lot more than I thought we were gonna lose, but it, I'll make it work. <laughs> I'll try at least anyway. Like I also wasn't originally gonna do this challenge on Kino de Toten either. Like, uh, like when I was thinking up of doing this idea last night, I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna do it on Moon. <laughs> like of all maps, Moon just seems like it could be fun with this challenge. And I've also never made a video on Moon, which I know is crazy. But me and that map have had some pretty dire past experiences. Um, some of you will know what I'm on about, some of you won't, and I'm going to leave that uh, very up in the air for those of you who don't know, but I'm sure you can figure it out. <laughs> it didn't go... It just, you know what? We're going to leave it there. But we were going to originally do this on Moon, but then I, I woke up this morning and I just had like, the craving to play Kino de Toten for some reason. Like, I don't know why, I just did. And it's been such a long time since I've just sat down and played this map. And I just thought, you know what? We're going to do it on Kino. Now, I was also originally then going to do it on Black Ops 1 Kino de Toten. But I don't believe you can get five perks on Black Ops 1 Kino de Toten without mods. And I thought, you know what? Why don't we just do it on BO3? We, we give ourselves a little on the house or an unquenchable like I did. And we just buy our fifth perk. Which has led me to this point now where I don't have Quick Revive. I don't have Jug. And I have the weirdest assortment of perks you've ever seen. Because I thought it was a good idea. And I thought it was such a good idea that I ran it back twice. <laughs> oh, that's actually perfect. I should have held off on that though a bit longer. Like, it's nice having a gun that one shots and all. But I would like a gun that has just many, many more bullets in the magazine. I wanted that nuke. Oh, god damn it. Do you know what? Pistol it is. I, I still have it. I'm allowing myself to use it. It's still there. Insta-kill gun for sure. That's huge. If I can save that to the beginning of the next round, save myself even more bullets. That's massive for me. Although if these zombies could hurry up and spawn, that would be great. There we go. All right. Now, if the, rain, the rounds flip just a little bit quicker, we can maybe kill five zombies with this nuke if I'm lucky. Go on. Oh, yeah, it's just there was yeah no point anyway. The round didn't flip quick enough. I can definitely make my way. I can definitely get through this round and the next round. I think with what I've got ammo wise, but I think 22 could get a bit risky. 
if I don't get like a max ammo beforehand or like a dog round or something. Because I'm also running low on ammo as well in the 1911, which not great. Because if I get another in-skill, I don't want to be wasting bullets with the, the shotgun. Where's that drop? That's a double point. I don't care about double points. Ugh. I care about max ammos. Okay, there's the in-skill gone. The good job I spotted that was going away because I think I would have completely missed that uh, little like sound cue and just oh, max ammo. Perfect. Just everything gets blasted. Okay, that's this is good. This is okay. Oh, okay. This is fine. We have bullets. It's not going to replenish as many bullets as I'd like, but it's fine. We do lose out on it's a dog round. Oh, no. It's not like, I, like I'm, I'm grateful you're giving me ammo, but like, <laughs> I don't like getting like abundance of ammo all at once. And I know for a fact the game's just going to shaft me. And I'm not going to see a max ammo drop for like a millennia. And that worries me because I desperately need bullets with this gun because it just does not have any. Okay, round 22. This is the round I died on last. So hopefully we can just get past this one. It would be kind of nice. Like, obviously the goal as well for a lot of challenges I do is always round 50. But like, there's no way in hell I'm going to get to round 50 using a brekkie. Uh, and the five weirdest perks you've ever seen. And I would like to make it to 25. Just somewhere in the middle, you know? I think it's I think 25 without uh, double tap. Oh my god, another max ammo. That's not what I want to see. Ugh! You just know for a fact the game is just now never going to give me a max ammo ever again. <laughs> like, I appreciate it, but at the same time, I don't. Like, I would... Oh, my God. As I was saying, the, I do think getting, like, a 25 round, not using Jug and not using Quick Revive is very respectable. Even though, like, obviously, Kino Detoten is a bit of an easier map, I still think getting to that level of a round without those two perks, like is always respectable no matter no matter the map obviously round 50 would be incredible but that's never gonna happen but round 25 i'd be i'd be happy with i'm around round 23 as it is which is good got another insta kill there which is good hopefully clear out half the round with the uh, the 1911 which would be huge okay give me that because you're there then you get to get knifed why not i do think this is where this is going to get a little more difficult though in this alleyway because spawns are going to be a bit more Hectic, they're gonna be a bit more full on, which could prove to be a bit challenging. But hopefully, I can make it work. Why does this gun have so much recoil? Jesus Christ. I just, like, guns just feel like they have so much more recoil in this game for some reason than like other games I've been playing lately. It's so weird. Is that gonna end the round? It is not gonna end the round. Okay. That's fine. Okay, the Brecky as well still one shots to the head in round 23, which is nice. That double tap and pack a punch coming in clutch. One thing I will say that I do hate about Black Ops 3 Zombies is how, how quiet the zombies actually are. Like, one thing I think they nailed with, like, later installments was actually giving the zombies footsteps. <laughs> so you can tell when there's, like, a crowd of zombies running at you when you're, you've are you got, like, your back turned to the, them, you know? I feel like you've got to have, like, supersonic hearing with this game specifically just to tell where zombies are if you've got, like, your back to them. It's not fun. Oh, it's a double points. I'll take it. Why not? Probably shouldn't risk my life grabbing shiny things when they're not important to me like double points but it is what it is i think the only two drops that i should be risking life and limb for is insta kills and max ammos i don't like being in this corner this corner is bad i might move back to the stage i think i will at the end of this round i'm going back to the stage this alleyway is now just a little too claustrophobic oh god oh god please no, this is not great. I have, oh, I'm spamming rounds, but I don't want to die. Oh, dear Christ. Oh, dear God, this is not good. <gasps> I am the boy. Nope. Bring back. I, fight back. <laughs> I am the boy who lived. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I have six rounds left. Oh, I hated that. Well, uh, round 25 looks like it's going to be uh, my death. Never mind. Actually, no, this still isn't great because it's not like I have the bullets to kill dogs. I'm going to have to try and collat every single, like, group of these dogs. And I just have to pray there's not more than 12. Or I can kill four. Uh, well, I can kill two of them by doing that. Damn it. Okay, I have four rounds left to kill uh, probably, like, seven dogs. This is not great. How many bullets did it take with this to kill you? Too many. Way too many. Okay, that's got them both there with the pistol. Good. Need some juice. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me! I didn't get scared. <laughs> that dog got way too close to me there at the end when I was red screen, and I thought that was it. Although I am now worried about just how much longer this gun is gonna perform for. Oh, I gotta deal with the crawlers as well now. Uh, maybe I do go back outside. Maybe I risk it, and I go back outside. 
fucked. I don't want to deal with the crawlers. <laughs> Maybe that's a risk worth taking. What is that? It's a nuke. I'm going to take the nuke. There's a max ammo behind there as well, but if I can hold off for as long as possible before taking that, that's perfect. I can't believe, like, I'm min-maxing everything I do in zombies. Like, this is not how I usually play. <laughs> like, I'm usually just, like, the agent of chaos when it comes to this game. But for some reason today, I'm just like, you know what? No, we're gonna... We're gonna play this seriously for once. We're gonna... We're gonna try. <laughs> and this is what happens when I try. I actually somehow do all right. But trying is for nerds. <laughs> I like being the agent of chaos. It's fun. This just feels weird. Where's this last zombie? I, I have no idea. There you are. Goodbye. That wasn't the last one. Oh, you're the last one, surely. There we go. 103 rounds, I think, if my maths is correct there. Maybe, no, that's more than that. 113, I can't do maths. <laughs> it's round 27, so we're, we're, we're in an okay position. We could be better off, mainly in the perk department, but you know what? I thought, why not? These were the perks I had last game, and I didn't want to change that up too much, so we're running it back with the same dodgy perk setup. But it's worked so far. That's huge. Use the pistol. I'm just gonna knife you so you don't explode in my face. Like, the, the, the more I can not use the shotgun, the better. Oh, <gasps> maximum ammunition for me. Okay, I don't want to stray too far away from that just in case I miss it. Okay, uh, maybe, do you know what? I think we're just going to take that. We're going to reload this quickly and we're going to grab that just so I don't forget. I don't like standing there. It's a weird position to be stood in. Okay, in big crowds, the brekkie is not the play. It does not kill nearly as many zombies as you'd like in a big crowd like that. And I always feel way more inclined to just start spamming. And I don't want to waste ammo. Mainly because I just can't buy it. <laughs> I have 78,000 points. God damn. I'm rolling in it. If only I could spend them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I actually don't know what the rules are about using traps either in this challenge. Like, there's nothing. Like, I don't know. Like, if I run out of ammo, can I just, like, run through the, the, tra the door trap there and turn it on? And then just fry everything? Like, is that allowed? <laughs> I don't know. The only rules are you're only allowed to, like, spin the box X amount of times, buy X amount of perks, and pack a punch X amount of times. You know, it just depends where you put them. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm dead. Yep. Nope, that's the end. I wasn't paying attention. And just like that, that is how everything can just come crashing down around you. I, like, I stopped paying attention for literally half a second and got dead. <laughs> but round 28, though, no jug. No quick revive. Only using a shotgun with the brekkie specifically. That's not bad. That is not bad. And for my second, I guess, uh, <laughs> endeavor with the 115 challenge, that's a lot of fun. I definitely want to revisit this again in the future sometime. And like I said, I am working on doing some longer, like, director style videos. They are on their way. Don't worry. <clears throat> I am going to try and get them out as soon as I can. Um... The, honestly, don't get used to this. This is like a one-time thing. I just felt like doing a video in this style for again. I don't know why. I just kind of felt like it today. Um, but if you have enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, leave a sub, and all the other good stuffs. And as always, I shall see you in the next one.